Negotiating the requirements. Negotiating is all about talking. But talking to get certain result, to get certain conclusion. What happens whenever the you know, discussion is going on? We would like the stakeholders to balance the functionality, to balance the performance, to balance the cost and time. And this is what we want from the stakeholders. But in reality, if you take the foot or inside your stakeholders shoes, then you have to think about that also as a software engineer, as a requirement engineer. Okay. There are multiple parties involved. Every party should be in a win-win situation. Cost is there. Time is involved. Money is involved. So negotiation is all about developing a project plan. That meets the stakeholders need. Okay, we want to complete his requirement, but also we have to know that in real world, there are certain constraints because the time is limited. The people you are working with is limited and the budget, the amount is also limited or it is well constrained. So in, in all these constraints, developing a very good project plan that meets the user's need is negotiation. In this money, in this time, this can be done. So the best negotiation always is striving for, is looking for a win-win condition for all the parties involved. Stakeholders, how do they win? And as a software team, what do you win? So stakeholder win when most of the majority of the, their needs are being fulfilled. For example, 1 to 50 requirements are there, 45 perfect requirements you have completed, use cases you have completed. And how does the software team win? Software team has a budget. They are provided a deadline. For example, 1 million amount is given uh, and uh, 2 year time is given. So under 1 million in 2 years, if the software team completes and gives the majority of the requirement completed, both wins. So Boehm, he defines certain set of negotiation. What does he say? He says that the stakeholders should be put in front. What is the viewpoint of the stakeholders system? What software he wants? What subsystem he wants? You need to identify first. Then you have to make or do everything so that the stakeholder feels he won the game, won the negotiation. So determining the stakeholders win condition also need to be known to you and negotiation of the stakeholders win condition. Now you have to reconcile them into a set of win-win condition because here there are different stakeholders with different viewpoints, with different thoughts, different requirement, different pie from the cookie or different part from the, the burger you can say. So Freaker, he actually suggested that there was a traditional uh, handoff, you know, uh, tra traditional method. Now let us replace it with the, the different kind of method. Previously, we used to make the SRS, software requirement specification, both the party will sign it and that will be the Bible and that will guide the whole process, whole uh, software process. Okay. Now Freak Freaker is saying that the traditional Handoff system should be replaced by handshaking. There has to be a both way communication, uh, full duplex or you can say bi-directional communication. We call it as handshaking. He termed it as handshaking. Handshaking is now the software team with the basic understanding. He, the software team will propose certain requirement solution. That is, these are the requirements. For what every requirement, for example, requirement one, this is the requirement content, this is how it is going to impact and what are our intentions, we need to explain it to the customer. So in handshaking, the software team is proposing and explaining. Now customer, what do they do, that is the stakeholders, they will understand, try to understand the solution, then they will try to find out what are the missing features, if there are certain ideas you have put which are new. They will seek or they will ask for the clarification. Now, when, how do we know that the requirements are good enough? Whenever you put up, uh, propose a solution to the requirement 
and the user accepts it that is the requirements are now good enough to go okay so these are the basis of handshaking so handshaking is now giving all the detailed requirement now it is good enough but we need to get to get it more detailed this is given this is directed this is delegated to the software team now now the team software team is going to understand it more elicit it more elaborate it more from customers for example product users domain expert you know you cannot just write in english you have to know what exactly you have to do so you are actually increasing the way of acceptance because everything is being accepted by the user and this has been elicited by the software team so in this handshaking way of negotiating requirements it will improve the identification the both parties can analyze and all the variants can be catered and it promotes a win win negotiation because the user is also happy because he is being talked about and then you are also happy because you are can make it by yourself so the art of negotiation is not all about software engineering even in your personal life the art of negotiation is all about recognizing that it's not a competition wherever the parties are involved we need to compromise both parties need to win we need to map out a strategy whatever you want to talk you have to plan out because at sudden moment if something comes up you will be speechless listen activity actively means what happens we always listen to answer we don't listen to understand and then answer so listen and then talk focus on the other party's interest see other party wants certain specific thing and you are not giving any airs to it it will create a conflict then don't let it get personal why because you know sometimes we we don't Uh, behave like a professional people we become person and that will uh, you know spoil that negotiation activity okay you are representing a whole organization not a, your individual uh, attributes then be creative sometimes the point will come where you have to be creative to to give an idea to come up with a thought which is really helpful for the negotiation and once the agreement has been done don't worry commit